Dan Wotton is the jewel in the crown of this place. And what I love about his show is there's no spin, no bias and no censorship. That's right. No spin, no bias, no censorship. He is the king of neutrality. Take a listen to this perfect example of Dan being very balanced in relation to Harry and Meghan and their new documentary series. An act of treachery against their own flesh and blood, the institution of the monarchy, our late great Queen Elizabeth II, the United Kingdom, the British public and even, even the Commonwealth. Yeah, that's, that's very vague, Dan. It's ambiguous. It's vanilla. What do you really think? Yep, the Duke and Duchess of Delusion went for the jugular in the disgraceful first three episodes of their Netflix reality show, taking millions in dirty Hollywood money to pursue a deranged attack on their enemies. I enjoyed that, Dan, but at some point you're going to have to get off that fence. Now, I love our team of correspondents there around the country representing the whole of Britain. They're the best in the industry. And the delightful Jeff Moody surpassed himself with this audition for Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Straight back. Thank you very much. Oh, it's really hot. I want to talk to you. Oh, this is really hot. Oh, dear. Hello. How are you? You okay? I'm all right. It's Good. really, really hot. Yeah. <laughs> Blimey. Now, let me tell you that I know Jeff Moody very well. Uh, let me tell you, that's not the worst thing he's had in his mouth. The team on Headliners, our late night newspaper review show, are nothing if not fully informed. Here is the comedian and presenter Josh Howey showing how useful he'd be sat next to Alan Shearer and Rio Ferdinand on Match of the Day. Well, they've got a lot of news there. There's something at the bottom here. Sterling may rejoin Three Lions in Qatar. I think that's something to do with the currency markets. OK. Possibly. Well, let's not focus on that. It's boring. Josh Howey for England manager. Meanwhile, husband and wife partnership Esther and Phil smashed it this morning as ever on their highly watchable Friday mid-morning show where a couple of guests, a couple of guests gave them the naked truth. Well, some of you who are eagle-eyed will have noticed that uh, Andrew uh, Gilligan and Nick Timothy have left. And joining us now is nature's husband and wife, Helen and Simon Berryman. So, I have to say, my th first thought, if you don't mind me, Helen, was, blooming heck, it's freezing outside. <laughs> but wouldn't it be the time of year to put clothes on? Shouldn't naturism be seasonal? What a pair of tits. But I did like the naturists. <laughs> Meanwhile, Patrick Christie's is one of the most skilled inquisitors on the channel, but he drew the short straw when he was given this guest. Take a look. OK, all right, Steve, I'll just ask you again. You okay, is Patrick, it... have a little drink of water. Oh, all right, mate. Look, to be honest, to be honest with you, Steve, it's, joke. It's, crack it's a racist bit... joke. Crack a racist joke. Steve, to be honest with you, it's a bit weird, this, mate. I'm just asking you, okay, you whether mate? or not calm, calm yourself, the RMC do you want, do you has links to the Communist Party. You... Ridiculous. Why is he asking Patrick to tell a joke? I mean, imagine having someone who's a comedian presenting on GB News. On this channel, we condemn anti-Semitism and all forms of racism unequivocally. However, there's no accounting for some of our guests like commentator Lewis Schaefer on the subject of rapper Kanye West. Because he was so extreme in these beliefs that they, they were exposed as being distasteful for people. Yeah. So that it can't... See, everybody hates the Jews. I hate the Jews. Everybody hates the I Jews. I should just add here that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lewis, Lewis is Jewish. Jew. Lewis is I'm Jewish. Jew, yeah. And, and it's not true, Lewis, that everyone hates the Jews. I don't hate the Jews. Well, there's something the matter with you. I mean, <laughs> Lewis is doing no, his best point. to get cancelled. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Well, Lewis rightly drew criticism and condemnation for his terrible comments. Although that said, he's getting a new fan base among Jeremy Corbyn supporters. Jez, we can. Staying with Lewis Schaefer, who I think is going to become a Clips of the Week regular, and a debate around a once disgraced musician being played at Christmas. Take a look. Our first dilemma this week is from Greg. Greg has said, is it wrong 
that I think it's about time Gary Glitter's Rock and Roll Christmas <laughs> is allowed to be added to Christmas playlists again. Lewis, it is a catchy tune, is it not? I guess so. It's not that big in America, but, oh, yes, you know, but then America doesn't have as many pedos as this country does. <laughs> Oh, well, at least uh, that's something that we're good at. Britain's got more pedos. Makes you proud.